Hey, good afternoon. George Cavaligos for HFT Bonds. Soon to be the night owl of trading because I've had some really good nights this week and not so great during the day. Um, I don't know. I overthink it during the day. I got to just, you know, go with the trend overnight. I put in, you know, my levels or I get short before I go to bed. I put in my stop. I put a bid way below the market, or I, you know, wake up and look and see where we're at and cover. It's worked, I think, every day this week. Holy cow! Look at that. And then uh, almost every day this week, I've come in and tried to mastermind something out of the day trade and given some back. I think I'm still up on the week. <laughs> I think no, I am. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, intraday, obviously, we made new lows. The daily looks pretty yucky. Um, like we're going to go and retest the lows. We took out, I think, almost every FIB retracement on the bonds and, no, 142, yeah we did, we took out all the FIB retracements. The only thing left in the bonds is the old low at 142.03 and in the notes we still have that last FIB retracement at 79% down at 130.30, hold on, hold on, 130.31 is the 79% FIB retracement of the previous rally in the notes. And then the old lows at 130.23. And then the important C equals A objectives down at 130.18 and one of the bigger FIB retracements at 130.22. So, you know, I've been leaning the last couple days towards the idea that this little sell-off has been a B wave. Today sure looked impulsive. Volume was pretty good, 1.2 million tenures. Um, we didn't make new lows. The only way you can confirm if it's a B wave is, is if you take out the previous lows with very good volume. So keep selling rallies until we're proven wrong or until somehow this is proven to be a B wave retest of the lows. We're not there yet. Don't overthink it like I keep trying to do intraday. Just go with the trend. The trend is down. We're selling rallies until we're proven wrong. So that's the game plan. Tonight, I'm looking for a bit of a bounce. You know, last night, I think in the chat room, I mentioned getting up to like 18, 19 plus. And then when I did the video, I said, you know what, that might be too much. How about we just look at the, uh, oh God, what was it, the 200 hour moving average at uh, 16? I think 16, 16 plus, we talked about it. I think 17 or 17 plus was the high overnight. 17 was the high. So, Go with that 200 hour moving average on a short term chart. Remember I'm using a 5 minute chart with a 200 hour. I've been getting some good um, trade placement off of that. And don't look at moving averages that much, but my friend Kevin Cook here next to me is uh, turning me into more of a moving average guy. And uh, I see this one and it's working pretty good. Kevin keeps talking about, uh, should I give away your secret Kev? Yeah, it's all yours. 25 day moving average on the daily charts as a big signal. I think it caught almost a high within a tick or two uh, up, what was it, 131.29 plus. So it's something to add to your toolbox. Remember, we're all carpenters here. We need all the tools we can get. I was laughing in the last uh, free non-farm payroll webinar. Somebody was saying they hated Elliott Wave when I had mentioned that I was using a lot of Elliott Wave in my analysis. And I'm sitting there thinking, that's fine. Maybe he didn't learn it right, or he's been listening to Bob Prechter, he doesn't do his homework. I find it to be a very useful tool, especially from a short-term trading standpoint. And it's like hating a hammer or hating a saw, you know, it's a tool. That's all it is. You know, it's not a philosophy, it's not a religion, it's a tool. That's all it is. Don't uh, hate your toolbox. You gotta, you gotta hate the carpenter, not the saw. Something's wrong there, right? Okay. Um, take a shot, selling it up against uh, right now the 200 hour moving average on the 10 year notes at 131.08. Previous highs 131.09 plus. And then the old height. That'd be a great setup there. If you could sell nines, nine pluses, that'd be perfect. 12 is the old low. Um, 12 was the high early this morning after we broke 12. We came right back and then couldn't, we failed miserably there. So I'll stop back, you know, above 12 somewhere. If you do sell the 09s, 8 plus, I'll keep I'll keep an eye on it tonight. Make sure you sign up for the Twitter feed, guys. I'm getting 700 to 1500 views of these videos. 
I think we have on a daily basis probably 10 to 15 people in the chat room. Where are the rest of you guys? I'm going to stop giving out all these juicy little levels and secrets in these videos and force you guys to come and sign up. Sign up for a seven day trial. It's not that you know big a deal. Um, sign up for a seven day free trial if you like it. You get a lot more uh, levels and such in there and you get this uh, guy's intraday wisdom I guess. Um, what else? On the downside, I guess we're looking in the bonds, like I said earlier, the old lows, 142.03. And if you look below there, there's some fairly hefty uh, moving average type stuff on the bigger picture. Got to put the glasses on. Hold on. But it's a long way down. I want to say like 141.5 is your next big monster level. Yeah, God, it's not even there. It's 139.02 on the fib retracement. That's. You know, we're not looking at that. Let's say we get new lows. Let's see what happens. If if you're going to press the new lows, make sure it has good volume. Otherwise, look out for that uh, whipsaw type trade down there. That might signal a B wave here. On the tenure, um, the old lows, like I said, was 23. We've got that 18 to 22 big cluster of uh, Elliott wave targets and fib retracements down there. So we'll keep an eye on that. All right, tomorrow, 30-year auction. Remember what I've been saying all week. Since the Fed went, or the Treasury, excuse me, went to monthly 30-year auctions three years ago, if you bought the 30-year in the auction, you have never lost money over the next 24 trading hours. That's pretty darn good odds. That's, what, 36 months? That's crazy. Oh, well. Um, tomorrow we'll take a look at it. Um, I think we can see lower prices into the auction and then we'll see what happens after that auction. I plan on covering and uh, maybe take a look at some weekly calls too. We'll let you know in the chat room. Have a great night.